Oh, what's up, guys? This is gonna be my first official vlog. It's basically some of the things I want to talk about is just a little bit about me and maybe a little bit about my car, where I live, stuff like that. Um, on the inside here, can't really see some of it, but like on my seatbelt, I have the Rally Art seatbelt cover. Um, I had a, one of the air fresher trees, but that kind of started to get annoying. Um, the inside's really not much. It needs cleaned, if you want my opinion. Being so OCD about the inside of my car and everything. I am going to roll up the windows for this, though. Uh, just checking my oil. Just standard check. And because of the Viper security system I have, it locked as I was pulling out the dipstick. And when I put it back in, the alarm went off and scared the hell out of me. Yeah, I don't really... I love this car. It's a 2008 Mitsubishi Lancer. GTS. Um, I'll probably do a walk around video just to give you guys a pretty a better idea of what it looks like, but I'm not gonna do that until I get the outside a little bit more fixated and cleaned up because there's just some things that I wanna change still and I'll probably end up throwing like a picture I have or two of before like when I first got it so I just thought about getting into this vlogging thing here recently when I probably should have would have been cooler to start and track my progress on my car as soon as I got it but if you want to really look and like look into me more my personal Instagram page is Nessa Lancer GTS um, an underscore in between each of those. Kind of shows like before and my old car that I had before this a little bit. Just a little bit more into me. I think this is warmed up good enough now. the gas station to pick up a few things. Um, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I switched to premium gas just to see if I could notice any bit of a difference in it. So far, after I haven't ran through a full tank of it yet, I'm not going to make any assumptions till after I run through a full tank and can fill back up because I let my tank run pretty much empty before I put the premium in it but so far it's running a little bit cleaner I'm gonna let this tank go down and fill back up with premium and see where it goes from there feels like it's running just a little bit snappier, a little bit smoother, I guess, not as jumpy as a, not jumpy, um, not as hesitant as it did on regular. Uh, I mean, it doesn't necessarily need premium. I plan on eventually tuning it to where the premium's necessary after I do some more of the things that I want to do to the car things like that but yeah a little bit about me I guess I my name's Seth 
kind of random late thing to say but um I turned 18 in December it's August now obviously but uh graduated from high school already and I start uh, Ohio State this fall well in like two weeks from now actually because it is starting to be that time now it's weird to think about this summer is just kind of gone by I wish I would have done a little bit more with the vlogs and like started it sooner than I did because then I could have really tracked the progress I've made on the car and me actually getting the car. But all in all, it's all good. This is partially my graduation gift. I am paying for my insurance and half of the car payment. My dad pays for the other half as my graduation present, I guess. Which is cool. Um, I wanted to buy my own car anyways, but this way I was able to get a little bit nicer of a car, which I was happy about. And this is definitely makes up for some what I probably would have ended up getting had I bought my own car. But after I graduate college, things like that, I do plan on making the move to the Evo. If I could afford an Evo now, I would have one. But yeah, I don't have like the proper equipment to do this yet, so basically at the moment, I have my phone velcro to my dashboard a very strange way, I guess. Um, I've tried some other camera angles and stuff, but this one I think worked out the best out of all of them. It looks more how it should be, I guess. Granted, it'd probably be a little bit better if I had if I wasn't using the front facing camera on my phone, like I used the rear facing camera, it would have ended up looking a little bit better, I guess. But, it'll look better when I can get some proper equipment. I'm just more focused on getting stuff for my car instead of getting stuff for vlogs. I'd rather buy mods for my car and different things like that than um, an expensive camera when my phone will work just fine for now. This isn't my first like attempt at vlogs. This is just the first time I'm really thinking about getting serious into it. I'm watching a lot of other vloggers on YouTube. A lot of them tend to have Evos. I don't know, since here recently, the Evo has become more or less my favorite car. Like, in my, like, dream car, too. It's... But I've always had, like, a reachable dream car, I guess. Like, my dream car has always been... It's changed not very much, but at the same time, it's always been a car that would be possible to get at one point. Never dreamed of having like a Lamborghini or anything like that. I was never been too into exotics. I prefer, I've, I always preferred the Japanese imports basically. Or like older American cars, things like that. Never the high end super expensive million dollar cars. I would rather 
take my money, if I had the money to get like a Lamborghini or something, I'd rather take it and buy a Skylight GTR or a 34 and build on that or build a 2JZ Supra or like an Evo because that's basically my plan after I graduate is get an Evo and start building it. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this as a daily yet. I might or I might just daily the Evo and be that guy who daily is a high horsepower car. But I don't want to make it too high, high that it's kind of distracting to drive. But at the same time, I want it to be good, I guess. I want it to be quick. I might do... I'm not exactly sure what all I have planned for this yet. I know for sure before import face off this September, I'm lowering my car and I'm gonna try to make it sit a little bit wider, maybe get like quarter inch wheel spacers or something like that, just so it's sitting just a tad bit wider. But pulling up to where I'm going now, as soon as I can get out onto the road. Okay, there's kind of a little bit of acceleration for you guys. Okay, well. Get a new spot here. Thanks for watching guys.